Is there anything that when you get to the city or we get to the hotel or, or that you bring with you that you have to have like your little comfort creature that you always bring with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Or jeans. Okay. That's all you need. That's what you need. Uh, Guitar. Well, there you go. There's your comfort creature. Backstage uh, is concerned. I just sat in the room playing my guitar while all the dancers, the myriad of the Black Eyed Peas and Usher and that whole posse thing that goes on, um, did their thing in the next room. And and, it, and and your your bed. How much was it just down to the second? And how how much room did you have if, if you had a you know a there is there's no room for error. I mean, and they they have a lot of people on board to make sure that nothing fucks up. And uh, they get you out there right as soon as uh, as soon as halftime starts, and you're rushed out, and then you just wait for your cue, and it goes on, and then it's done, and then you're out. It's an amazing uh, feat of. Uh, uh, yeah, organization. Are you a sports fan? Uh, well, you know, I keep up with football. I keep up with soccer a little bit. Um, basketball, you know. I'm not a huge fan. I'm not dedicated. I always wait to the end of the season. <laughs> I'm too busy otherwise. Yeah. You grace us with, the, uh, with the, uh, the pleasure of playing our national anthem uh, here at the Blue Jay game. Uh, what's it like doing the anthem? Um, actually, I might be doing it again. I don't know if that's a secret or not. Okay. It's I think I'm going to do it tomorrow. Yeah. It's, it's a cool melody. So, yeah. so <laughs> last time I did it, I did it with, with the, the national, the, the U.S. anthem, and we mixed them together right. because it was Boston and Blue Jays. So I think I'm just going to do the Canadian one tomorrow. Uh, Velvet Revolver uh, put out two records, and there's been a hiatus as you search for a singer. You mentioned Big Rec earlier. Ian Thornley has been talking very fondly about the audition process for, for, that he went through for uh, Velvet Revolver. So what went down there? I think uh, in 2000, I would, I would say 2008, before I sort of got knee deep in my last solo record, um, Ian, I, I, I love the rap, and so he came down and he, would, he was the guy that we would have picked out of everybody over the last how many years. He was the one guy that was really solid, but he didn't, <laughs> the, the thing was is we didn't want him to because we have two guitar players, so we didn't want him to play guitar, and he, he didn't feel comfortable without the guitar. So that's, you know, but he's such a great artist in his own right. He doesn't necessarily need a ball you know. And is the search still on for singers? Still on. Still on for singers, so audition tapes come up here if you brought them. Uh, I was flipping around on one of those reality TV shows, it was about little real estate ones, and there was Matt Sorum looking for a house on television in, uh, in LA, and uh, he was supposed to come see, see one of the, these matches or something, and he calls the, the villager and goes, I'm in Brazil! Sorry, I can't make it! But uh, it, was, it was pretty funny watching him going out of a that shot. I can imagine. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> and assholes. <laughs> uh, you, have, you have been born in England. You can represent England in the, uh, in the uh, musical Olympics. I was wondering with all the music going on. Of that, and they should ask you to, to participate in the upcoming Olympics. Uh, no, they haven't asked me to do that. But uh, I didn't even know the Olympics were there until a couple weeks ago. Where are you with the social media? Uh, what, what's your take on it? Do you participate? Um, you know, all things considered, I, knew, I didn't start using it until I was doing the last record and realized that it was a good platform to be able to sort of let people know what I was doing. And ever since then, I just, I've just stayed uh, pretty committed to sort of putting the word out on any kind of updates and so on and so forth. And I think it's great. I think it's one of the, the coolest, in that, in, in that respect, it's one of the coolest new sort of technological uh, advances that we've had to be able to reach a mass, you know, that, that bunch of people. But uh, for everything else, it's turned into an obvious pain in the ass. It's like, it's like with everything. It's like you can abuse it or you can use it for what it's good for. But it's worked out for me pretty well. Now, our, our, other, our own Canadian Neil Young has had, uh, been very vocal on, on analog recording and also on the warmth of vinyl sounding. Uh, what, did, did, what's your take on that? Did, did, is this record going to have a vinyl? Do you notice a big difference? Did you try to mix it? Well, the, uh, this this record was recorded on box, so yeah, I will definitely have a final uh, copy out there. Um, as far as I'm concerned, if you're going to listen to a rock and roll band, this doesn't necessarily apply. It definitely doesn't apply for 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 uh, uh, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Electronic music. Um, pop music doesn't really it doesn't really apply in hip hop, but for rock and roll, you know, you, you just the, to record drums. Digitally, this does not sound good. It doesn't sound right. And if you take uh, analog recording and put it on vinyl, it is the best way to listen to a rock and roll. Band. 
And what about production? Have you, have, have you um, is that something that interests you about uh, producing other artists or, or anything getting into the whole? Not at, not at this point, um, you know, because I have my own record label, you know, the, the thoughts cross my mind about looking for artists and put on the label. But I'm, I'm working so hard just to keep my own neck above water, so I don't even need to be bothered with trying to help everybody else or anybody else at this point. But down the line, at some, you know, some juncture, there might be something that I go, you know, I want to get behind this and, and you know, do that. How do you listen to music? What's, what's your couple of different ways that you listen to music? Um, well, you know, it's funny to talk about vinyl. I have a turntable at home, but it's not hooked up. So I'm actually still at a crossroads as to what is the most comfortable way for me to listen to music. And it still turns out to be CDs in my car. You know? And when I'm listening to mixes, I put everything just to keep it sort of protected on my iPod, and I put a plug out in the car. And, you know, and so what's been, what's been on the uh, passenger uh, seat of the, of the car lately? What you were putting that? Um, well, the, the newest Van Halen record. Um, uh, Mastodon's latest record, and, and along with that, uh, and Lamb of God as well. But that that will definitely get you in an accident. Yeah. It's just like, <laughs> it's not it's not healthy. It's great driving music, but it's not healthy. It's like drive to endanger music. Um, but yeah, that's that's been the latest new releases. Oh, it's like the new Megadeth. Yeah. Hands to ten. Yeah. Uh, you know, coming up next month. Uh, as it's been well documented everywhere, and you've spoken out this week about, about your appreciation for being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But it, uh, you took the words, well, me, me love, you took the words right out of my mouth when you said it's more about something the people who aren't there. And just, just touch on uh, the, the Canadian band rush that you, you talked about, saying, how, how could there be an induction ceremony without, without them? I mean, the, 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 the list of people that you don't even stop to think about, because I don't, I don't know how many people actually go online and look at all the people that have been inducted, but the list of people that haven't even been nominated is mind-blowing. So, you know, Rush, and, and my, my real, the big one for me is Deep Purple, all right? I mean, how could you not induct Deep Purple? But there's so many bands that, that came out that have had such a huge influence on music and have had such great success as well. Yeah, it just, there's something wrong about that. And that's, that's I, I'm not the only person that's miffed about it. Yeah, and, it's, and music is such a subjective thing, and, and so, so many people's contributions have maybe didn't get the same attention from the media or anything, but it's so vital into the, the history of right. the music that we call out and all. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you get the feeling that's a little bit of a biased thing, but, I mean, one person's judgment, you know, like saying, uh, one person's opinion doesn't necessarily uh, uh, mean the opinion of, of all the fans who really were moved by a particular brand for how many years. And, well, I think I can speak on behalf of everybody that, regardless of the criteria and all the on all the ins and outs that aren't there, uh, you you belong there for for your contributions and all the different bands and as iconic guitarists. So, regardless of everything else, congratulations on the honor. Oh, well, thank you. Very much. This project uh, really takes hold tonight. Uh, give, give us uh, whatever, as best you can, of uh, the next year or so of, uh, of Slash Life. Um, well, we start uh, a US tour in May, and then we're doing a European tour in June, and then we're going to do a Canadian tour in July, and we're just going to keep touring. It's going to be a pretty global uh, global tour, and we, we, we're basically uh, picking up where we left off on the last one, which we did pretty well and covered a lot of ground. And it was really well received, which is nice. So we're going to just continue that on, and we're going to be playing a whole bunch of stuff off this new record once it comes out. And uh, like that. Take an opportunity to thank you for thinking of Canada for, for embracing Canadian music and musicians. And uh, I can't say it any better than I'm the greatest Canadian rock slogan that's ever been. Slash, just keep on rocking in the free world. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Yeah.